Joshua Allen Haynes mom at an early age Joshua always been um, artistic he always enjoyed drawing art classes anything designed with engineer around putting things together his love of fashion really came about when he really transitioned to high school him and uh, Josh and a couple of his classmates that's when they really fell in love with fashion they started it became up with a name of a fashion group and it was going to branch out and have their own um, business with fashion. I, having seven kids living in, um, living in a low-income area, I adopted five and had two, Joshua and Jessica. And I always looked, looked for out programs, free programs, and I always carpool them out of zone to different schools so they can have a better upcoming talk about the uh the pro uh, the move the transition and keeping us sheltered from keeping from, us sheltered from like okay and by growing up in a low income area it's not much to do and stuff it like was not, it was it wasn't in a program in a program, program offered in a low income area so i had to make the best out of res the resources that was offered and we was one of the blessed families that came through the low income area even though i had seven kids we transitioned from out of private school until public school, he fell in love with sports. And from there, he transitioned into fashion. Because while he was in private school, he was in uniforms. He got in trouble when he transitioned into middle school, public middle school. He felt I had to bribe him with Jordans to make him uh, behave. <laughs> Walking around, give y'all the inside look at the lab. Kind of like an everyday function thing, man. In here all night, uh, surges, basic surges on the other side. Uh, everything pretty much managed the same way, but you know, uh, some machines do something different from others. You got embroidery features on here. Zoom in so y'all can see that. Uh, but yeah, man. It's the lab. The niche. Um, yeah. Working on a few things for senior exit. Got a few of the inspo on the board. It's my garment right here. Very proud of it. <laughs> yeah. Can't tell a lot of the details. But yeah. Wanted to give y'all guys like a closer look at some of the inspo, uh, some of the senior exit. Um, right here is mine's. Um, mine's is called Repurpose Fashion. Some of the other students, thought process and influences on the board. Some of the things and some of the inspirations behind some of the things with drawings and different samples. Just wanted to get y'all uh, like you know, a look into the process of a designer's mind.
But yeah. Always being like therapeutic. Um, being able to just like create and do what I love to do. Um, probably been one of the biggest impacts in my life as far as change in the direction that I want. Just being creative, just trying to piece it together in more of a fashion sense. I always had a good fashion sense. I always had a good style sense on what I like to see together. Um, but it's just ultimately all about like how I want it to shape and mold. Um, you know, creating garments and creating pieces. when um like growing up I would see some of the pieces that he would like wear some of the clothes some of the like fashion styles he would wear um and me personally I would go and ask him for like advice like hey is this like is this great or is this like like what should I change like what should I add um and he would like always be there to like have that input to like guide my fashion sense and of course I started branching off into my own sense of style so I believe that he was like impactful in you know helping build that foundation so yeah man we headed in the city to do this last interview with my good friend Kazi y'all stay tuned start off with your name who you are <laughs> my name is Kazi um I'm a friend of Josh, we met, I think it was like 2020 at Nike, we worked together. I don't remember how we really like start talking, but all I remember, he worked, um, we worked in two separate departments at Nike, and I would, he worked, he ended up working in back of house, so I don't know why I was back there, probably just running my mouth, and then he started talking about music, and I really love music, so I'm like, okay, like, I really hate when people give me music recommendations because I just feel like it's not going to be up to my standards. So I started listening to the stuff he was sending me. I was like, oh, okay, he kind of know what he's talking about. So I was like, okay, he's cool. So we just kept talking, kept talking. And I really thought he wanted to do something with music, not like rap or anything, but I guess like A&R or something because I feel like he has a good ear. Um, but then he started talking about fashion. I was like... Oh, okay. Like, that's different. Didn't expect that from him. Again, I thought it was like music. Um, and then he just kept talking about fashion, kept talking about fashion. I was like, oh, he's serious, like very serious. And then he started talking about like the different types of fabric. And I said, oh, like this is like for real, for real. So that was interesting. Um, anytime we were at Nike, it would just be about music or fashion. Oh, oh, you said personal growth, right? Yeah, talk about like the personal growth, man. Okay. Um, when I first met Josh, I wouldn't say he was standoffish, but not as like, I guess, open to talking to people. I guess, but I, I guess once I start like really knowing somebody, I'm gonna kind of make them talk in a way because I'm a little shy too, and I thought Josh was shy, but it's kind of like. If I don't know you, I'm not really gonna talk to you, but once I figure out like that you cool, then you know, we locked in. So, um, when I would say stuff like if I'm talking to other people at Nike, I'd be like, Yeah, me and Josh did this, this, and this, and they'd be like, Josh did what? Like Josh talks? I'm like, Yeah, Josh talk a lot. Like for real, for real. They was like, No, nah, Josh don't never talk. Duh, duh, duh. And I'm like, No, nah. like he talks very knowledgeable and very passionate about what he does. So, um, over time, I think he's like getting more out of his shell he's not as shy definitely open to meeting new people um very humble but very confident too which is good would not and should not i don't think and ever will conform to society or anybody else's like standards or beliefs like he's strong <laughs> in his faith and you know what he believes in which is really good in today's society because everybody is kind of just like similar you know and josh is gonna stand out and either you like him or you don't you like what he offers or you don't and he doesn't care either way <laughs> but he just you know moves accordingly but i'm very proud of his growth like over the last i guess it's been three four years but it's really been or it feels like it's been like 
10 years or so, you know? And this isn't somebody like I talk to every day, but when we like connect back or link back up, it's kind of like we didn't miss any time or anything. So very, a very great person to have in your corner. Just a great individual. Man, I want to thank y'all for watching the video, for taking a glimpse into my life and finding out a little bit about me. Man, special shout out to my mom, special shout out to my sister. Special shout out to Sh uh, Kazi for doing the video. Um, I appreciate y'all. Y'all the best. Uh, big shout outs to Professor Hafner. Thank you for allowing me to conduct this assignment so that I can be able to show the world a little bit about myself and who I will become. Hopefully we'll have more fun projects like this in the future. But for now, thank y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for your time and your patience. And